Hello Rebels and welcome back to my life. I'm at VidCon right now, although it's probably hard to tell. My second day of VidCon began with a panel of YouTubers, including favorite of mine Anna Akana, who had made the leap to filmmaking with short films and documentaries. We got to see clips of their projects, all of which were cool and interesting, but perhaps more important, the panel was very quiet, which I needed after staying up until 3am the night before and not quite having had enough coffee yet. After that I went to the Expo Hall, where I ran into Clarity from Vine. Hey Megan, how you doing? I'm with your amazing husband. He's not coming home because he's going with me. See you later, right? Yeah. Stan from yep. Crash Course was there. Hi, I'm Garrett Robinson. This is Crash Course VidCon, and today we're talking with Stan from Actual Crash Course. Hi. Stan, in your totally, you know, correct opinion, who's your favorite vlog brother? Oh, man. Well... <laughs> you know why VidCon is so awesome? Because he's Batman! I went and took some freaky pictures with my friend Daniel Darragon at the SourceFed booth. So one of the coolest things about VidCon and one of the places where I spend most of my time is the Canon Creators Working Lounge, where you can just sort of hang out, look at really cool cameras and lenses. They have presentations on new cameras that are working out. Free coffee, which I'm always a big fan of. And and basically, you know, it's it's totally awesome. Like, the place is, is really, really great and a, a, a cool place to spend time. So, can, can I have a, a, a free lens now? Shortly after the expo hall, I went to another panel with Felicia Day and LD Shatter Lady, two of my favorite online gamers, for a really interesting panel on gender in gaming. I've talked about feminism on this channel often before, and gender in gaming a few times, but it was really interesting hearing the perspectives of women whose lives had, to a large degree, been defined by their love of and interest in gaming culture. Like when I was a kid, gaming wasn't considered something that girls did, even though girls did play games back then and were good at them, we still kind of thought like that wasn't the case. The internet truly is the place where you can be yourself and do what you like, despite the trolls and the people in your life who say you shouldn't be doing that. And maybe you'll even meet up with and develop a community of other people who like doing the same thing. Nowhere is that more apparent than with the Vlogbrothers themselves, and most of the rest of my day was spent in events with one or both of them. First, they took the Kia main stage with a massive nerdfighter Q&A taking questions from their audience on Twitter. <laughs> The other thing that I forgot is that Paper Towns movie came out today. And, and I, I just have to say that, what's wrong? Oh yeah, it's pizza. Um, a little bit of pizza. It's, 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 it's branding. Um, have you two brought you two closer? Yes, because uh, that was from Maisha. Uh, yes. Was the question has YouTube brought you two closer? No, because YouTube brought you two closer. Oh, it does, it does, it does. Oh, yeah. I was like, has no. YouTube brought YouTube closer? I think YouTube is impending, and the more YouTube is YouTube, the more YouTube is YouTube. I just got a text from Dad. What did he say? He said that an example of our failure is your attempt to make French the Llama a thing. No! <laughs> I tweeted four questions at them, serious questions, questions about internet communities and making a good YouTube channel, and then I tweeted a joke question because the wall behind them looked like it was covered in Triforces, and of course... Why is the wall behind you covered with Triforces? Long live Princess Zelda question mark? I spent that evening with six friends watching Driftless Pony Club and Hank Green and the Perfect Strangers in concert. There were other bands, but frankly, they weren't my style. Rebels, I'll tell you something I don't talk about often. When I get crappy comments on YouTube, one thing I hear a lot is that I'm just trying to be Hank Green, or John Green, or Craig Bainzine, or some other popular YouTuber. I've definitely borrowed certain stylistic things from YouTubers that I love, but really, when crappy YouTube commenters ask things like, Why do you want to be Hank Green so bad? My default response is usually, wouldn't you? It's not just the fact that they got in early that allowed people like Hank and John and Felicia Day and Derek Muller to make it big on YouTube. That's not why they get to spend their lives playing video games and making videos about science and writing best-selling novels and playing live shows to thousands of people in an auditorium. There is so much unbridled enthusiasm for the things they love doing. They're not doing it to entertain their audience. They're doing it because they love it, and that does entertain their audience. It's a life free from the cynicism that's so prevalent in so much of modern society, and especially our entertainment, where you can honestly just be unabashedly enthusiastic about doing what you love. And so yeah, I do want a life like that. And I'm not even a little ashamed to admit it. Super weird to have, you know, a life where you just dance in front of people. 
So thank you for watching Rebels, and thank you to my Patreon patrons who make all my YouTube videos possible, especially my sponsors. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!